Joining me live right now from Miami Gardens is the Congresswoman, Frederica Wilson herself. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining me. I don't know if you heard the president saying from the White House just moments ago that he believes somehow you have changed your stance. Are you revising now? Is the president correct what you heard him say? I, I, I stand by what I heard him say. In addition, uh, he didn't even remember Le David's name. He was calling him your guy, and that was very, very distasteful for the widow. She said, he doesn't even know his name. He called him your guy, your guy. Congresswoman, Congresswoman, the president says that he has some sort of proof. We're waiting to hear whether that phone call was recorded or whether there is a transcript. If there are either of those two things, uh, are you confident that your story will stand up if we do hear a recording of the phone call? Let him bring, bring a, a transcript. I was not the only person in the car. There's no reason to uh, lie about a telephone call. What Mr. Trump needs to be concerned about is keeping us out of war. Uh, we're, this country is in trouble, and uh, we need to find out what happened actually to Le David. That is my concern, and his small children. So all of the other I know this morning uh, that you also said that uh, you also thing. have proof. I know there were five people in that limousine ride when you heard the call on speakerphone. Is your proof the other four witnesses, or has someone recorded the call on your end as well? No, my proof of the, the, the people in the car, the grieving family who have no reason to lie on the President of the United States. When we were going there, there was, a, there was one, one sentence said, otherwise the car was silent. And it was, the President is going to call the widow. So when the phone rang, everyone was quiet. After the conversation, everyone was quiet. No one discussed his call. When I got out of the car, the press ran to me. The president called the widow because he evidently told them he was going to call. I said, yes. They said, did you hear it? I said, only a little bit. What did he say? And then I told them what he said. Can you give us some sense of what the context of that comment was? I know that phone call was at least five minutes long. Was the entire phone call? It was about three to five minutes. The widow was the entire phone it was call about perceived three, to be insulting by the widow. It was widow, about three or was to it five just minutes. That moment. Mm -hmm. It was about three to five minutes, and he did all of the talking. This is a widow who is distressed. She is grieving. She's grieving because her husband cannot even have an open casket funeral. She's grieving. She's a young woman and she's pregnant. And she has three kids that she's going to have to rear alone. Her mother died less than two years ago. So she's gonna to have to raise these kids. And this community is trying to help her. We're trying to help her do that. We're not concerned about Mr. Trump's insensitive remarks. He has a reputation. He talks about his, uh, uh, Senator McCain not being a hero because he was caught. So I guess he means like Le David Johnson is not a hero because he was killed, because he signed up for it. Congressman, what does the widow? What does the widow and what does the family want the president to do now? Do they want an apology from the president? Do they want the president to come to South Florida to attend the funeral on Saturday? What would you like to see the president do at this point? We have had not one discussion about what we want the president to do, but I would like to make a suggestion to the president going forth. 
if he ever has to do this, perform this task again, I would suggest to him that he call up and he say, I'm so sorry, your son, your daughter paid the ultimate price for our nation and I'm going to send you a letter in the mail. We all know that Mr. Trump goes off the budding path. He doesn't stay on topic. We know even if you give him a script, he will not read the script. So the best thing for him to do would be to write a letter and send it to grieving widows when they lose a husband so he won't make this mistake again. And if I were All him, right. I would apologize to uh, Maisha. All right, Congresswoman Federica Wilson, thank you so much for joining us live from Miami Gardens. And uh, Nicole and Janice, there will be a briefing here by Press Secretary Sarah Sanders coming up at 2 p.m. We will be there. We will bring the concerns of the Congresswoman directly to the Press Secretary, and we will still try to get an answer what that proof may be, whether it is a transcript or whether that phone call was recorded. Still so much more to come. Ross, thank you so much.